Well, so when you take this paddle off, almost half of the product is on the paddle. <laughs> it really sticks to it, so. Hey guys, we are back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna show you how we make our pumpkin spice body butter. My name's Jerrica. And I'm Kale. And we are the co-owners of Quench Inc., which is a soap and bath bomb company. And on our channel, we talk all about our products, how we make them, how we sell them, and all the behind the scenes magic that helps us operate this business out of our home. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep watching. So it's September. And we all know what that means. <laughs> it is the start of body butter season. Sadly, summer is leaving us as That's the you. days go by. <laughs> yeah. Which is my favorite season, summer. But. It's really sad for Kale, but I love it. It's my favorite, favorite season. I love fall. I love all things pumpkin and the weather getting cooler and the colors coming out. I love it. So I'm super excited. I'm sorry that you don't. But. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I know. Yeah. Fall always comes after summer. So body butter was actually the second product that we ventured off into making after soap for our company, right? Yes, it's the second product. And it's usually the next product people make after soap making because it's so simple, it's so easy, and it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Our recipe today has about one, two, three, four, five, around five to six ingredients. I'd say of just the butters and oils yep, yeah. and it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And while the ingredients of a body butter is pretty straightforward and there's not a lot of ingredients, the actual ratios of each ingredient is super important because that controls how nicely it applies, the greasiness level of it. So there's different things that you have to play around with. And I know for us, this is not our first body butter recipe. We have gone through so many iterations as we have tried to figure out how to make the best body butter <laughs> for our company. Yeah, I would say yeah. the raw ingredients are all pretty close to what we had at the inception, yeah. but then we've really tinkered with uh, percentages and amounts in the different formulations. Yeah, so what you're gonna see today is not what we started with, but we can say proudly that this body butter is super fluffy, it's super light, we have so many fans of our body butter, but what it is not is susceptible to the heat. It will melt in high heat. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing about it, but I don't really worry too much about it. What we actually do as a company is we stop selling it during the summertime. We only sell it during the wintertime. Yeah. And yeah. the reason is because we want to keep our recipe intact. The way it is, it's so, so nice. And the people that buy our body butters understand and they wait in anticipation until the fall comes and everyone gets super excited that it's back. And because the person that makes these body butters in our company is Kale, then he is going to be the star of today's video. Just like with our candle making video, you guys seem to really, really <laughs> love seeing Kale on camera and you guys are begging to see more of him. So you're in luck, today's video is gonna be starring him. So if you wanna see how we make our body butter step by step, Keep watching and now let's get into it. And hopefully I'm more comfortable on camera this time. Yes, he needs practice. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up all of our butters and oils, the five ingredients to melt them down. So shea butter is the main component of our body butter. It's a pretty high percentage. And we love to use shea butter because it's so solid at room temperature. And it also whips up to a really nice consistency. And for those wondering, this is a refined and deodorized shea butter and we use this because unrefined shea butter has a very distinct scent to it and because our body butters are leave-on products, we really don't want that scent to carry through and that's not our brand, we're not about that. We want this body butter to smell just like pumpkin spice, so that's what we've been using. All right, next ingredient is the coconut oil. And just like the shea butter, this is also deodorized and refined. And if you get unrefined coconut oil, it has a really beautiful coconut scent, which if your product is, um, if you want it to be naturally scented of coconut, you can definitely use that because I find that that's probably the best way to scent a natural product, have it smelling like coconut, is to use actual unrefined coconut oil. But for our purposes today, this is refined. So our next ingredient here is the coke butter and I start using a separate vessel to measure this out, just because if I were to overfill, put too much in this container, that coconut oil is kind of sticky and then it would kind of get on the cocoa butter. So just put the right amount in this one and empty it in here. Yep, and this is also deodorized and refined. And make sure that that's back down to zero so there's not an extra gram kind of in the vessel there. Perfect. <laughs> Next ingredient, our hemp oil. Yes, and unlike the 
ingredients that we've shown you previously, this is actually unrefined and and the reason why we use unrefined hemp seed oil is because the scent does not carry through on our leave-on products, so it's pretty safe to use um, in our body butters. We don't detect the scent at all. But if you were to smell it, I would say it smells like grass. Would you say that? Yeah, it, it's... Yeah, it's like a it's very not, like... It's not sweet, but it's just earthy. Yeah. It, it doesn't smell bad, it's just a natural smell. Yeah. And if you don't want to use hemp seed oil, you can use any other light, fast absorbing oil. A good substitute for this could be avocado oil, apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil. All of those oils make a great substitute for hemp seed oil, but we really like to use hemp seed oil a lot. And what's this one, Kale? And last ingredient for this step is the jojoba oil. Yes, and this is a really luxurious oil. It's a little bit more expensive than all the other oils. And jojoba oil is super light and very fast absorbing. And that's why it's a great in ingredient to use in things like body butters and lotions because it doesn't sit on your skin and it just provides the most beautiful glide to products when you add it to when you add jojoba oil to them. All right, now that we have these five ingredients here in one beaker, we're gonna melt them down in a water bath on medium heat. Awesome. So after our body butter is completely melted down, we actually hold the body butter at that heat for another half an hour. And the reason why we do that is because our body butter is mostly shea butter. And this particular butter is kind of finicky. If you don't handle shea butter right, you can result in a very grainy, um, it feels kind of like there's stuff in it. And we've experienced that before. So we have found that we're keeping it on the heat for another half hour and then quickly cooling it, which we'll show you how we do that um, when the time comes, has really helped to prevent the graininess from happening in our shea butter, in, in our body butters that are mostly shea butter. So that's a little bit of a tip if you are gonna be making this for yourselves at home and you're gonna be using shea butter to hold it at that melted state over your stove top or whatever you're using to melt it for an extra half hour and then quickly putting it into the fridge to rapidly cool it down. All right, so this is the part of the video that I'm most looking forward to. <laughs> we have our ingredients melting down, but it's like a cooking show. Boom, we have a container here already ready. All right, so this mixture is pretty hard. So what we're gonna do is just kind of spoon it out, shovel it out into um, small pieces into our mixing bowl. So here's our solidified body butter, and I know it looks like it's not gonna whip into something <laughs> super fluffy and luxurious, but we are going to turn this into something very, very fluffy and light, we promise you. But the way we get there is a few steps. So you might think this guy is the guy that you use, but actually because our body butter is so solid, in the beginning, this is actually what we use in the beginning to break down those major chunks. And once it becomes more, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? Once it breaks down a little bit more. Once it's more creamy, like something that, creamy, you, can see yeah. that you can apply onto your skin and that will absorb. Then we use this guy. I have tried using this guy in the beginning with disastrous results <laughs> to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the body butter is really, really hard right now, so give it a chance for this guy to break it down and then you should be good. Yeah, they're a team. They're a team. Use them in unison. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we have the tool on the mixer and then we bring this up here. Now, you have to be really careful and you have to be really um, aware of what's going on when I turn this on. I put it on the very lowest setting, but even then, because these pieces are so hard, they tend to want to kind of jump out of the bowl. Yeah. So um, to prevent that, it's always good to have gloves on. And I just kind of, I'm the resistant here. I kind of put things back in if they want to jump up. Yeah. Um, honestly, like every five to 10 seconds that go, goes by, there's less and less of a chance of that happening, but um, <laughs> that can happen the first few minutes. And then you'll kind of start to see it all slowly become one piece. So okay. here goes nothing. <laughs> And I'm already kind of pushing things down so they don't get near the top too much. Like that piece would have gone. And I really want to jump out now. 
we have lost chunks of body butter before. We've had chunks of body butter fly up into our faces before. And now you can see there, it's all one piece there. So what you can always do is stop it. Um, as you can see, this is getting kind of high up there. Kind of scrape this down towards the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. So that it will get more exposure to the... The paddle? Mixing tool, the paddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that down there. And for those wondering, this is a six quart KitchenAid, um, I think, pro mixing bowl. And then just start it again there. Oh, that one almost came out. Yep. <laughs> and then I'll do this eight or ten times, stop it, and just kind of push things down. Yep. All right, so we stopped it again there, and as it gets softer and softer, I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, I'm gonna put it up a setting. I'm gonna put it on setting two, uh, just because it's starting to get a little bit more creamier, and it can start to be a little bit faster. So here it is, our butter is definitely creamier. Yep, there's progress. But we wanted a lot more whipped than this, even before switching to the next tool. Exactly, and what we're gonna be doing as we continue to whip it is scrape down the sides periodically because you can see it's going up the sides. So in order to have a consistent body butter, we wanna keep making sure that we're moving the stuff around. <laughs> So we are now at the stage that we can transition from the paddle to the whisk and we can already see how light and fluffy it already is. And you can stop here. You don't have to continue whisking, but for you us- You can, yeah, you can, but. For, <laughs> for us in our product, we like it super fluffy. So um, we're gonna remove this guy, scrape as much of the body butter from it as possible and then move on to the, the whisking attachment. Well, so when you take this paddle off, Almost half of the product is on the paddle. It's <laughs> really sticks to it. So um, you don't want to rush and you want to take a fair amount of time to just scrape all of this off so you get the most product back into the bowl as possible. Mm -hmm. So here is the next ingredient going in before we actually get it started on the whisk attachment and getting it whipped up even more. Um, this is arrowroot powder and what this helps our body butter do is not be as greasy. It really helps it apply with a nice silky finish and absorb into our skin faster than it normally would. And that's the number one complaint people might have with body butters is that it feels too heavy, it's a little too greasy, um, but arrowroot really, really helps cut that um, down a lot. So that's why we add it. Last ingredient here is the fragrance oil. And this is actually Pumpkin Delight from New Directions Aromatics and we really like it. And this would also be the point if you're adding any colors through micas, you would be adding it at this point too. But for our company, we like to keep our body butters a little bit more on the natural side, even though we're using fragrance oils. So we don't color our body butters, but if you are, this is the point you would do it as well. All right, and we're gonna put this back on with the whisk this time. Yep. Whisk is going on here and it's gonna fluff that up even more. So you don't have to be as gradual when increasing speed. Now that the whisk is on, and you can see that oil, the liquid fragrance oil, just start to be absorbed within the mixture. So we have come to the consistency that we're looking for. Extremely light and fluffy. And are we ready to jar yet, Kale? Yep, we are here. Just getting our gloves on. <laughs> so how do we know this is ready? We just kind of eyeball it? Yeah, when kind of the body butter that's pushed up onto the sides, when it starts to kind of curve over, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not falling, that's kind of the visual cue that I look for. So, as you can see, we have like still like a third of the product on this whisk. 
We don't want to waste one bit of that. So we just start <laughs> to kind of spend some time getting all of that out. Yeah. <laughs> We have our jars at the ready here. We're using eight ounce straight-sided glass jars from Uline. So the way we get this in the jar is I use a combination of a spoon and a spatula. And so you can see, you can hold this upside down, kind of like a blizzard from Dairy Queen. It's not going anywhere. So <laughs> it's very it stiff. In the jar and kind of with the spoon and then use a spatula to just kind of push it down. And once you fill it up, maybe halfway or three quarters of the way, um, height wise, you can see that all those pockets in there. So the best way to kind of get rid of these pockets is to gently, not too hard, kind of bang it on the table with um, some towels or some cloths down here. It'll eliminate the air pockets by doing that? Yes. Yeah, as much as you can, because with our particular recipe, the body butter is quite stiff and you'll, you'll still get air pockets um, no matter what, but this is what's been working for us. So we were able to get nine jars from this. The next step to do is just top them and put labels on them. Yep, and by top them, he means put the, the lids on, which we have over here. And this is what they look like at the top, and they literally look like whipped cream. That is so crazy. <laughs> they look so edible. Do not eat people. Yeah, do not eat this. I know it looks delicious, but don't. And we'll show you what our labels look like once they're on, and then we'll give you a bit of a demo of how it, it uh, goes on our skin. So we always have a little bit extra that's on our bowls and what we love to do after we've made some is to apply it on our skin and I have some dry psoriasis patches that I just like to put a little bit on. That's actually a lot, but <laughs> let me find other places to put it. But um, where do you like to put the body butter, Kale? I like putting it on my arm, like hands, arms, and um, I like putting it on my legs and ankles as well. Yes. And... It is a heavier level of moisturization, so if you are selling it, it's good to let people know that so that they know what to expect. But even though it does sit on your skin at the very beginning, once you apply it, if you just wait a little bit longer, just a couple of minutes, it sinks right in and you're left with the most velvet smooth finish. And my psoriasis patches love our body butter. It really keeps my skin hydrated all day long. And I am a huge fan, and I can see why people love this body butter so, so much. So here is the body butter, all labeled in its jar, and I think this looks really, really nice. It looks like a nice fluffy whipped cream on the inside. <laughs> and uh, these will be up on our website soon. Um, we've been really slow with updating the website with some stuff, but we are getting there, we promise. <laughs> body butter is one of those things that if you add to your line, people are definitely going to buy it. That's what we have found. And if you want to make this body butter, we have the full recipe on our Patreon. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in our description box below. And speaking of our Patreon, I want to thank our patrons who have chosen to support us on there. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Every little bit helps and you guys have built such an amazing community, especially these guys over here, our Bubble BFFs. These guys are some of them are business owners and I have a few of their businesses linked in my description box below. So that's it. If you really like this video, please give a huge thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome and keep making beautiful, wonderful things like pumpkin spice body butter. And until the next one, bye guys. Bye.